Sorry, I uh, didn't see that. I was too busy reading the a magazine. So I am wearing probably literally the worst outfit ever to wear on a hot day. So that's a bit stupid of me. It's like 8 billion degrees outside and I'm standing here wearing this black t-shirt, black trousers, black shoes and black and black socks and blue pants. Thanks for that Sam, just tell every single person what colour your underwear is. I think I'll change. There we go. So I feel guilt a lot. That's a bit weird. I think it's because I care too much about what people think and stuff. And I'm quite awkward as well. So if I'm walking past a person who's selling the big issue and I say, you know, no, 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 thank you. Um, I genuinely feel a thought of, oh my God, I am the worst human in the world. Oh my God, someone kill me right now. Graham to swallow me up and just eat me and nom, 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 nom. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm also pretty clumsy, and that's something that has been a factor of my life really since day one. If I see something and I pick it up, it will break, and I would again feel the massive big black cloud of guilt just upon me, and I would just. Ugh. I think, I think the worst case of feeling guilty that I've had is a case when uh, when I was in year eight, I got into a scuffle with a person who started on my best friend. So he, you know, pushed my friend Michael. So I, went, so I thought, no, 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 don't push my friend Michael. And I just walked up to him and just pushed him. He pushed me back into the school fire alarm. Yeah, you can kind of tell where this is going. So the school fire alarm went off and everyone I mean, bearing in mind there's about two, five hundred, two, two, yeah, yeah, there's about two people in the school. Well done, Sammy, Ben. There's about five hundred people in that school, so everyone had to go outside. Miss White, who's our head of the year, got out a megaphone and said, Okay, we want to know who did it. Because I was felt so guilty, I just kind of told on myself. And I got excluded. Yeah, sad times. Sad, sad times. Anyway, yesterday, actually, no, let's go back to black and white. A actor died called Corey Monteith, I think his name is. He, he was in Glee and he was a hero to millions. And he passed away. Um, we're not quite sure what he passed away from. Apparently, it was some issue of drugs. I know he was in rehab this year, so, that, well, I'm not gonna. But um, yeah, obviously, it's a massive tragedy but people were obviously in mourning and just upset about it as you would be if, a, if your idol had died but then believers or Bieber fans or whatever the fuck they're called started thinking what if it was Justin Bieber and getting really upset about it and like making all these pictures and they're just everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook Blah. Oh, and then they were just saying oh imagine if waking up in the morning and finding out that Justin Bieber had died and seeing all these pictures on Instagram of people saying, you know, born 1991 or where, wherever day he was born on, 2013 or whatever. And it was just heartbreaking. They were like, it was so tragic that they were comparing a death to, to someone who hasn't even died yet. That is so, so, so disrespectful. That, oh, it really upset me and just pissed me off and yeah, so. Yeah, um, rest in peace, Corey Monteith, and um, my love and thoughts and prayers go to everyone who he was close with. And another really tragic thing about this whole story is that his girlfriend or fiance, um, well, imagine that, I mean, your husband, or sorry, your fiance passing away a few weeks away from the actual wedding itself, that's just... That's just heartbreaking. Anyway, um, back to colour stuff. Um, I'm gonna try, that's a promise, 
to upload a video every single day of this week. Maybe even including Saturday and Sunday, but I have to pre-record those. Because I'm not going to be able to make videos. Hang on, this actually should be back quite as well. I'm not going to be able to make videos during the summer holidays, like edited videos. I'll be able to make unedited videos though, which is better than nothing, I guess. Um, it won't be brilliant, it'll just be what I'm doing and where I'm going and who I'm with and bleh, I'm doing bleh a lot today. Maybe should be a new catchphrase. Bleh. These endings are always so awkward. Um, love you. Yeah. Uh, just gonna... There you go. Didn't take much. Oh. Seven minutes that took. Fucking hell.